guys, what's up? It's iJev, and how is everybody doing? I am back with more Let's Play Minecraft. You're going to notice that I'm using a texture pack. Uh, I'll talk about that just in a second, though. I hope you guys are having a great day. I decided to go ahead and start the Sunday special with Let's Play Minecraft today since yesterday's video was so bad. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so here is the deal. Uh, I felt really bad yesterday because normally yesterday was supposed to be the FTB special, but Blockville is still down and I cannot figure out why it's not working. The server will run for about 10 minutes and then it'll just crash. I think it might be the Unleash pack and just having bad luck. I'm not sure though. Um, so next up, Texture Pack. I love this Texture Pack and I've told you guys this before. This is Redcraft. It's, uh, man, I can almost sound like myself again. <coughs> this is Redcraft. It's, um, this is the 128 by 128 version. I have every single one of them installed. <laughs> I kind of like it a lot. Um, so this would be 256. It does take a second to switch over, obviously, because of that, but, um, I love this texture pack. It is my favorite. Okay, I say, please don't crash on me. Alright, this is 256. A little bit more detailed. Cobble's got some stone to it and everything like that. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this or not. Um, I know a lot of you guys are like, no, don't use a texture pack. And it, a texture packs is like a big sore spot for videos, really. So I think for this one episode, we will use 128 because I really like 128. <laughs> there we go. I also have all the smooth uh, versions of these too, but the smooth ones definitely don't look as good. Uh, man, there were so many good comments, guys, on the last video. Um, I was, it, it like, I, I can't explain how excited I am for this village rehab project because of all the great and wonderful comments. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so anyways, guys, um, so for today's Saturday special or Sunday special, I should say, I would really like to get this video to 2000 likes. That would be wonderful if you guys could do that right now. Uh, while we're working on the video, not even that you didn't even know that I'm working on it. Cause I told you I wasn't going to do it. Um, so, um, I, I want to try something new this time, instead of being like, oh yeah, well we're just going to do this, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm actually going to pick a comment out, show it on screen, and then I'm going to try and work on that during the video a little while. Alright guys, so I was looking through the comments, and I think I found one that I like. Uh, the comment that I decided to go with was, lead based toys. <laughs> and his comment was, um, a port would be nice, ships and boats and docks. That's actually one of the game plans. Um, you guys had so many great comments. Um, a part of this villager kind of rebuild system here, we're going to get rid of a lot of this land. Like this stuff up here, like you see how this is all uneven right here. We're going to be getting rid of a lot of this. Uh, we're going to try to level it down and kind of slope the land up to fit the villages. Um, we're going to clean up everything. We're going to fix the pathways. I think I might even make the pathway. Uh, I can't really do that. This right here is what I hate though. As you can see, this is three wide. This is terrible looking. I don't like that. I want to make it either four wide or two wide, but I can't really do that because everything is already shaped off of that. So as far as making this the portal to the hub, uh, that's not going to work either. So uh, what will happen is we'll build some walls. Um, they'll come around here. Come this way. Actually, we need to get some food. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me eat. But the wall will come around this way, and then it's gonna it's probably gonna line these trees um, and then head straight down to probably here somewhere. Um, and what this is going to do is this is going to kind of connect to the dock. The dock is going to be from about this area, and the dock is gonna go all the way around to over this way. It's going to go this entire direction. Um, this will kind of be the entrance to it. Uh, right here you'll kind of walk into it and then you'll be able to walk all the way around um, Towards the back of the docks um, Wherever we decide to end it over here towards the back of the docks. We're going to have shops um, There'll be a pier area that's gonna go out um, And uh, the pier area will probably be over that way um, I would like a shipping area for uh, boats to come in as well. So we have a lot of work to do um, as far as building the dock right now, I don't think I want to do it just yet because this village needs so much more work than that. Um, so I will 
leave his suggestion as today's video, but there's many more things that I want to do first. So, like this right here, like, does this, is this really necessary? Like, this doesn't need to be here. Um, so my goal right now is to kind of go through and fix this village up, and I'm going to speed that up for you guys. Alright guys, I am back, and of course it's nighttime, I didn't pay attention to that, I'm sorry. But, I have been working on this, and obviously I'm not done. Um, I Mainly, I did a lot of path cleanup. Um, as you can see, most of the paths now are looking really, really good. Um, I decided to go three wide, I decided to keep it three wide. Um, and then I edited the fountain. Um, I wanted to make it even, it was bugging the hell out of me. So the fountain, instead of it being 2x2, two two, is just a one hole now, which isn't a big deal too much. I mean, it's just a fountain. Uh, everything is lined up. I need to get a stair for right here. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, that. Okay. And I got a bunch of wood, and the wood is going to be... We're going to make a little trading center first off. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, I need to um, I need to run back over to my base and see how many name tags that I actually have. See if I have any at all, to be honest with you. Um, so I'm asleep. Go back over there. I'm gonna grab some supplies and I'll be back in just a second. All right, guys, I am back and I went and collected some wool. I don't know if that's gonna be enough or not. Um, <clears throat> we've got some wood as well. So today's thing is going to be a farmer's market. We are going to put a tiny little farmer's market uh, with some shops in this corner right here. Uh, or try our best at least. Um, let's see. What I think I want to do is, first I think we're going to need to collect some more gravel because I want to connect the paths. Um, I want this farmer's market to... Um, see, this house is in the way. I might actually move this house. I know there's plenty of villagers in there though. Uh, what I was thinking about doing was making it to where you could walk through, like this, but that house is really in the way. Um, I mean, we might be able to still do it. We can give it a shot. The first thing I need to do is collect some gravel. And I was kind of hoping there would be like a big spot of it somewhere, um, but I think you're going to have to do that later. Alright, so <clears throat> let's, uh, let's get everything put down here. And I think what we might do is just make this a one-sided farmer's market. Like, uh, have the shops on this row, and then just have, like, a nice little gravel path going through here. And I brought a, a name tag, and crap, I forgot an anvil. Damn it. <laughs> oh, well. Um, okay, let's go over here. Oh, we didn't need to do that, really. Um, break all that down. I shouldn't have broke all that down, by the way. I'm an idiot. Make a crafting table, and 
We're gonna need to go back to the house anyways, because we're gonna have to get a, change our anvil to change the name. I'm not even sure that I'm gonna have enough XP for it, but we'll see. Uh, first thing I wanna make is just a chest. There we go. Right, let's dump all this stuff off, besides some of the wood. Okay. So, each shop is going to hold a villager. They'll be named. That way they'll never despawn. And so, if the pathway is going to start right here... I should give us plenty of room. Probably make it go... Right there. Let's get rid of that. Hmm, hmm, hmm. <laughs> Alright, um... We should probably do it, um, start it right here, we'll make it butt up against this. The farmer's market, they'll be selling this stuff. That's That was kind of the game plan, but it's just coming more into fruition now, I guess. Um, actually, I'm not sure that I want it butting up against that. Um, each shop is going to probably be four wide, uh, something like this, maybe. There'll be a gate there. Let's see if we can fit one more in there. Um, no. Darn it. So it looks like we're gonna have three shops. What can we put right here? Maybe a little farm. I don't know. We'll see what's gonna go there. Um, it's making it difficult. Like right there. I think I made these a little too big. Hmm, hmm. There we go. Looks like we might be able to fit one more in there. Sweet. Alright. And obviously I'm not sure if I'm going to keep these all built out of wood or not. We might change it after we build it. Um, okay, so the pathway... ...will be right here. There we go, and I think this is off. That's too big. The last one was too big. I knew I was doing something wrong. But this kind of gives us a better opportunity to do what I wanted to do anyways. Sorry about the gross snorting noises, guys. I can't really help it. So we're going to move this one. going to put it one off. There we go. That'll line up better. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that, that to me looks a lot better. Sick. Alright, um, we need to sleep real quick and then we're going to make some fences. And I don't think I'm going to have enough wool for this. Oh, come on. It's nighttime. Let me sleep. Okay. Alright, so let's make some fences. Good thing we have plenty of resources. There we go. So, I'm gonna put one. I think it's going to be. It should work perfect. I really think I'm going to move this house. It is really in the way. And I mean, I don't even need to move it that much. I might scoot it over one block. I think that's what we're going to do. One block. There we go. This kind of works out perfectly, too, if you think about it. Potatoes, wheat, carrots. <coughs> we'll grab some item frames and things like that and put it on the wall or something like that. And uh, Okay, so that part's done. I think the back of these are going to have a little bit more protection, but the front will be open. 
You gotta think about it. You don't want baddies getting in there. There we go. The back might even go all the way up at this point. When I keep the shops separate, so those will have spaces. Crap. There we go. Okay. So here's the my game plan. Um, let's go over here. I want to use red and yellow wool. We're gonna have to go get more wool. This is why we have that wool farm. There we go. We're gonna do it just like this. It's gonna be a stripe ceiling. Um, now, and here, I need to make a little bit of scaffolding. There, there, there. And we'll continue that theme all the way down and curve it. I'm not sure what I want to put back there, though. I really want this to be one connected uh, s uh, kind of cover. Let's do that. We're going to need a lot more wool, though, for sure. Let's make all that red. Here we go. So that kind of gives it that, that farmer's market feel. I was going to do an overlapping one, but I think that's going to be perfect. Um, let's connect these. I don't want them to feel like they're in jail, though, you know? Alright. Collect that? Oh, I was like, where'd it go? I need some food. So something like that. Like I said, I think we're going to connect these. Uh, the only part I want to be open... I mean, you, you don't go to a farmer's market and you be able to enter it from the back side of it. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, let's see if we can't find some sheep around here real fast. I'm not sure if there's sheep around here or not. Oh, let's grab some food, too. Ugh, sorry, guys, for the nasty noises. Alright, sorry about that. I, I wanted to, like, clear my nose, so I didn't have to make those noises anymore. Um, oh, there is some sheep over here. Sick. Look at all the white sheep. It's a miracle. Damn, that's a lot of sheep. Like, talk about perfect timing. Heck, this might be enough sheep to finish the roof. Chicken. Perfect. I'm thinking, um, just for the utility of it, uh, not here, maybe in another part of the world somewhere, we might make an, a giant animal farm. Like, all the animals, all four of the animals, or all five of the animals, the squid, not squids, but chicken, um, pigs, cows, and sheep, all four of them, or whatever. Uh, and just make it as big as we possibly can. What are we going to do with this section right here, though? This is what's going to bug me. I guess we could do some extra storage right there. Hmm. And here's my other idea, you know. We could put doors in between here to where they could go back and forth. And then make it to where they could enter that area and have extra storage. That would work. Um, okay, let's make half of this yellow. And grab that. And we'll make the rest of this red that we have. We're going to have to go find some more flowers in a second, though. That's a little bit more. I really didn't think I was going to need this much wool. <laughs> That's pretty cool looking, though. I like it. I think it's turning out pretty good. Um... Alright, I'm going to collect some more flowers and wool and things like that, and I'll come back to you when I think I have enough to finish it. So I'll be back in a second. Alright guys, I am back. I have a bunch of gravel. Went and found a little, there's like a little um, ravine around here somewhere. I think it's over this way. I forget where I saw it. Maybe over there. 
Over there, there is like gravel everywhere. I'm like, jackpot, hello. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and do the pathway here. So I had an idea uh, just a second ago. I was thinking, I was like, well, man, how can we kind of signify that this is the pathway, you know? And then I was thinking, why don't we put redstone in the ground? Not redstone in the ground, but redstone lamps every couple of blocks. That would work pretty good. So I think that might be something we're going to look into in the future. Uh, I have a bunch of wool here. I'm really hoping this will be enough. All right, so we're on red. Uh, I'm not sure. I guess we could just continue it. I don't know. I've never really done like a corner spot before. Like, as you can see. Maybe we should get rid of this. Let's pick those up. Yeah, I'm not sure how I want to do this corner spot. So, well. Maybe we could just kind of... All right, well, let's do it like this until it comes to the edge. So red. And here, we're going to need to get up there. Hopefully we have enough wool. Let's put that there. Something like that, maybe. I think that might work. Because um, I, I don't want to... Um, I guess if we were... Because I don't know how to explain it. I wanted it to turn, you know? And that's what's giving me problems. Alright, I say we do this part last. Um, so we'll take all of this. Alright, see this is the problem that I, I was feeling I was going to have, because now I'm not sure what color to use. Hmm. So if there was any color there, this one would have to be red, because the, on the inside part of that would be, uh, would be yellow. Right there. This is tough. All that. There we go. We can definitely finish the rest of this now. That's not a problem. Stop hurting me. We'll see. I think we'll have enough. We should have plenty of wool, actually. That's not really an issue. I always fail. I always do it at nighttime. I'm like, oh yeah, let's start recording again. Oh, it's night time. Never mind. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Come on. There we go. All right, so we have the corner done. But as you can see, I really want this to... You know what? I think... I know what might make this a little bit easier for us. Let's do it like this. If this is going to be a storage area... Let's get rid of all of this. And if you're going to be able to walk through all these, because all the villagers shouldn't have to, the workers shouldn't have to go out into the public to get the stuff they need. You don't see workers going in other stores to buy stuff that they need. So, uh, you know what? What we'll do is we'll put a wall back here to get rid of this. There we go. And then we'll put gates here, here, and here. Let's go ahead and make those. Gonna need some more sticks. Crap, not enough. One, we're gonna be a couple short. At least they're easy to make. I think we're going to need six, though. There we go. We have our sticks. 
So we'll put a gate there, a gate there. There we go. And um, I think what we might do is make some pressure plates. And we're going to mock look like this. So you'll know that this. Okay. There we go. You'll know that this is like where you should come to buy your stuff, you know? This is where it's going to be entrance. Not entrance, but this is where the vendor will be. So just like that. Just like that. Sweet, sweet. Alright, now let's finish this back corner. It's going to bug me if I don't do this. Uh, first thing we should probably do is this. Okay. Let's put yellow there. And I think we'll just continue yellow this way and this way. That, that's not so bad. Yeah, that's not so bad at all. That. Nailed it. Oh, it's sick looking. I love it. Oh, it's so cool. All right. Um, need some food. We are going to need light. I also need to give them some sort of ground to walk on. They don't need to walk on grass. All right. So let's go take a look at our villagers. Is there any villagers in this one? There's one in there. He's a normal guy. That might be our best option right there. We have a priest. One in there as well. Alright, you know what? Let's, um... How am I going to stop them from jumping out? Hmm. You know what? We might just do this instead. I don't think they can jump out from that. I'm not sure that they can open gates either. We'll have to see. Close up. Kind of going as... I wasn't sure what this was going to take to finish this, but now I'm like... I'm super into this right now. <laughs> I think it'll be nine. Or something close to that. We'll leave one open there. That's where we're going to put the first villager. Oops. Here we go. Can we jump on that? You can't jump on that. You can jump on this part, though. I don't know if I can get through that or not. I don't think you can. You can jump through here, though. Alright, so then we will need to put this back here. And I think we're going to fill that in. We're going to need some more fences. Take all that. I'm kind of glad we brought all that wood now. We are definitely going to need it. Okay, there's 13 more fences. Okay, so the villagers won't be able to get out, but maybe right there. How can I stop them? There we go. Now how am I going to get out? <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to get out of here. There's got to be an easier way to get in and out of here. Alright. Um, there we go. Let's close that. You know what I think I'm going to use for the floor? I think I'm going to use white wool for the floor. So you guys said that I could lasso villagers in the last episode. This is so wrong. No, you can't. It just brings up his trade. Liars. Alright. I can't even get him out of the corner. Um, no. You can't lasso them at all. 
Because you have to right click. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna warp this guy into the corner and I'll be back. Alright guys, I am back and we're just about finished with the farmer's market. I have our first villager in there, I brought my anvil, and I brought some stained clay just in case I want to use it. And then I got to thinking, wait a second, I'm in a village. I have stuff everywhere that I can use, you know, not a big deal. So, uh, one thing I want to do before we end the video is I want to make sure that there's enough wool down for them to have a floor. We uh, probably should, that guy, just, he ate right then, like, I don't give a shit, dude. No. <laughs> um... So the farmer's market, and I've been thinking of a name, you know? You gotta have a name for your villager. Come on, come on, bro. So, the name of our first villager is going to be Daryl. Daryl seems like a very hard worker, you know? I interviewed Daryl before the video started, and I was like, Daryl, you know, I know you don't have a name, but I know your name is Daryl, and I know that you're a hard worker, so can you sell baked potatoes for me or corn or or wheat he's gonna be the wheat seller he's gonna sell us wheat and daryl he was like hmm, hmm and i was like indeed sir indeed so daryl will be our wheat wheat our, our wheat salesman he'll also sell bread and he'll sell wheat all right so we got some wood to put some chests down um i'm gonna go back over it's one of these hills i don't know which one it is one of these hills has a bunch of... Oh, I think it's this way. Because we have 18. I don't think that's going to be enough. And uh, I also want to make some hay bales. Uh, hay bales will be for the villagers to sit down on. Or Daryl for Daryl to sit down. Because, you know, Daryl's a hard worker. Daryl doesn't get to sit down a lot. So I feel Daryl should take a break, you know? As long as Daryl doesn't escape. <laughs> And, um, <clears throat> oh, by the way, guys, one thing I did not discuss with you, but we kind of did that on stream. I don't play this world on stream whatsoever, because this is just for our channel, you know? Um, I've started playing Minecraft on the hard. Uh, you know, it's, it, it feels more fun to me. Like, I don't know, like, medium? I've been playing medium, or normal, I should say, for a long time. And I just think that it's time we made the switch. So we have 28 wool. 28 wool should be plenty. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to collect... Um, okay, we do have some room. We're going to collect all of this. It is 9 wheat per haystack, or hay bale, I should say. So we'll replant these. And we have 14. Okay, let's go to our chest here. Put some of this stuff down. First thing we're going to do is we're going to name Daryl. Is that how I want to spell it? Yeah, I think that's how I'm going to spell it. How do you give this to them? Can you not name villagers? There's got to be a way to name a villager. Hmm. I'm gonna have to look it up, I think. Alright, guys, I am back. Unfortunately, there really is not a way to rename him without cheating. Um, obviously, I can't just click on him. Somebody told me if somebody else is accessing the inventory, that it might work. So I do have an idea, though. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the game to LAN, and we're not going to do cheats. And we're going to start a land world. I'm going to get on Miss I. Jevin's laptop and have her access his inventory and then see if I can click on him. So we're going to try that really quickly. All right, guys. So we are now on a land server. Um, unfortunately, I didn't consider this when I started. I'm actually at spawn on Miss I. Jevin's computer. Uh, I didn't think of that. I don't even know where I'm at. Yeah, I'm on her computer right now. And... Hold on. You know what? Here's what we can do. We'll hit F3. So I'm at... F3. Oh, holy hell. I am far away. Alright, guys. I'll be back in just a second. 
Alright guys, so I have walked Miss Eye Jevon all the way over here in our land world from spawn. She walked about a thousand blocks. She is currently in the villagers GUI. Yes, it worked! Thank God, dude, that took forever. And I didn't even cheat, all I did was open the world to land. And uh, so as soon as I save and quit, the world go back to being survival. It's still survival right now. Um, when I opened it to land, I decided not to use cheats, obviously, because, I mean, you guys saw, uh, would, that would be terrible to use cheats. So now we have Daryl. Miss I. Jevin, thank you for all your help, Mrs. Wonderful. Deadass. Just joking. <laughs> uh, anyway, so all I have to do to get rid of land is to do this. Go back into single player. And as you can see, I still can't cheat. Um, hold on one second, guys. I'm going to, uh... Turn off Mrs. Ijevin's computer. I have it on my desk. It's just like, yeah, I'll just put this right here. There we go. And then all I gotta do is shut it. She has a laptop, so it, it makes things a lot easier for me. There we go. So, um, like for example. Yeah, I don't have any permission to use those commands. Alright, so we're on to the last part of the video. I'm really glad that that worked, though. Now I know what I gotta do every time I want to uh, rename something. That's so sick. Daryl, you're such a good villager. Okay. Had to get a drink of my sodi pop. Alright! I think he's mad at me still. No, he still wants to trade. Okay, so now we need this. Let's go hit up the rest of these guys. We are, I'm going to replant all of these, by the way. Because I don't want to leave my farms dry. Hmm. Indeed. Alright, so we have 42. I would like to give each of them one seat. So that should be plenty, actually. Um, one, two... Three. Did he just? I was say, did he just jump on top of that? Holy crap! This will be their seat. Kind of wish that it was a half slab. Actually, not sure that I like that. Can it place a different way? I really thought they would be a little bit smaller, I guess. Oh well, there's nothing you can really do about it. But this would this would be their chair that they can sit on. It's a hay bale. You can sit on hay bales. I used to do it all the time. Uh, anyways, next up is item frames. Uh, we have plenty of wheat. So let's see. Where should we put the item frames at? Maybe right up there. Hmm. Maybe we can put them right there. Let's try and put them right there. Let's grab some wood and some leather. Make some more sticks. And this guy. A couple of those. Okay, I wonder if we can put it down there. That sort of works. Will that pop off if I walk by? That's, uh... That's not bad. Okay. Um, so here's what we should do. We should make one bread. Wheat, wheat. Is that the same? Okay, and then bread. Yeah, buddy! Just want to make sure I can't mess it up at all. Okay, so we have our first villager, Daryl. He is our wheat farmer. He is our fail our wheat salesman. And uh, the last thing I wanted to do for this episode was to put some chests down. Um, not rename it. That. Stick five. Well, I don't even think we're going to need that many, but... So... Something like that. Nice little storage area. Maybe one right there. Oh, 
No, I don't want to go there. There we go. Oh, I love it, guys. So we just need some light. That's all we're we're good to do. Um, do we have more leather? We do. All right. Well, you know what? Let's just go ahead and. There we go. First part of the villager rehab project is going well. There we go. So in this one, we would put regular potatoes, baked potato, regular carrots, golden carrot. Yeah, buddy. We need to get two more name tags, too. All right, guys. So this video is coming to an end. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed your first Sunday special of survival or just let's play Minecraft. We've got Daryl here doing all the hard work for us, and uh, he appreciates it. He likes doing the hard work. Got ourselves some nice item frames, a nice little farmer's market, and everything. This is uh, this is turning out to be pretty cool looking. I really, really like this. Um, I still think we should move the house, though. So let me know what you guys think about this below. Uh, what should we add into this, you know? Um... <clears throat> and I, f I don't know should we make this working somehow I don't know how we would do that though so don't forget guys 2,000 likes on the video would be wonderful if you could beat that and I hope you guys have a wonderful day this is Ijevin peace out